Numbers 13 opens with the Lord instructing Moses how to identify 12 men who are commonly known as the 12 spies to send to explore the promised land of Canaan. Now, what's interesting is that in Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 20 through 23, Moses makes it clear that this wasn't God's first choice for them to send out the spies, but this was something the people initiated. God wanted them to trust him and to simply take the land because they trusted him. Perhaps Moses only came to God as it records for us here in Numbers 13, asking maybe how to send out the spies, not if he should send out the spies. Anyway, these 12 men have an amazing experience there. Look with me at verse 23. The Bible says this, When they came to the valley of Eshkel, they cut down a branch of a single cluster of grapes so large that it took two of them to carry it on a pole between them. Amazing. And their report to the people is just as amazing. In verse 27, listen to what they share. We entered the land you sent us to explore, and it is indeed a bountiful country, a land flowing with milk and honey. But it goes on in verse 28 as they report, but the people living there are powerful, and their towns are large and fortified, and we even saw giants there. They report that there were giants in the land and they go on to share that their enemies were everywhere. Now, these obstacles strike fear and confusion amongst the people. And Caleb, one of the 12 men, tries to rally the people, encourage them, but the other spies spread their faithless report amongst the people. Their eyes were on the obstacles, not on the God who had led them there. You see, unbelief always sees the obstacles and faith sees the opportunities. This chapter is a lesson for us today. Pastor Warren Wearsby commented on this chapter in this way. He says, this refusal to enter the land is a type of the believer's refusal to claim his or her inheritance in Christ. Instead of entering into full rest in Jesus and trusting him for every need, Doubting Christians see problems and obstacles and wander around restlessly, blind to their blessings. A.W. Tozer once wrote, Faith comes first to the hearing ear, not to the cogitating mind. Today, let me encourage you. Don't place your eyes on the obstacles, but on the God who leads you. Because unbelief only sees the obstacles, but faith sees the opportunities.